Good morning. So, or like, good. Wait, there's an afternoon. Is this the pre noon? What, what do you call it? You just call it morning, don't you? All right. <laughs> we have two different words for that in Sweden. We have förmiddag and morgon. And morgon is morning. So it comes before the förmiddag, which is the bit between the morning. The actual morning and lunch. You have the f the pre noon. <laughs> so the, okay, I'll stop. But you know, if you're in Sweden and said good morning at this time, people will look at you funny. I do. <laughs> I keep telling people good morning just to freak them out or like see how uncomfortable they get like because i had an ex that did that and i thought that was hilarious <laughs> so i uh, i took that from him and i kept it anyway we are going to play the dreamer household today and uh checking my spreadsheet i wish the music didn't stop when i did that but uh, they are little Omar, 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 o Omar was just born, and um, so I'm gonna remove his name from the name suggestions for Steffi. And so that means they are now eight. Like, look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Sims in one household. So we shouldn't get any more babies. And also, I'm thinking. Like, uh, it should be Tuesday, right? Okay, so let's just uh, play them. I'm thinking that we should like try and uh, embrace the the seasons. So it is autumn now. So if anyone has like, so look, Steffi has wants to gain a skill point. I should like focus on that and not these other. Um, <laughs> smooching with her husband stuff because uh, we left her like this looking quite annoyed with having a baby I, I'm not sure what's going through her head but she seems she doesn't seem really pleased does she so um, oh well <laughs> she is like oh my goodness everyone is in platinum because Darren wanted a grandkid, and Dirk wanted a kid, probably. And now he wants his children to get scholarships, and he also wants a lot of skill points. But so, I'm gonna focus on Steffi for a while. She has a toddler and a baby. And we don't have a bed for both of them. Wait is the toddler perhaps growing up soon in one day yes okay so the toddler is going to grow up really soon so this is little duke and he is not tired at all so i don't think we need a bed for him we we're gonna be needing a bigger bed upstairs uh we need to fix this situation okay so who does anyone have any money in the bank? According to my spreadsheet, Dirk might have some. I'm gonna check everyone. I don't think anyone else has any uh, bank online withdraw. Okay, so he had a little bit of money. Uh, Steffi doesn't have a withdraw option. Okay. So I'm gonna withdraw that <laughs> so that Dirk can um, get the house remodeled. Wait, what is the work situation for everybody? So Dirk is going to go to work this afternoon. Darren is off today and so is Steffi. So like now is a really good time to throw a birthday party for the little one and i'm not gonna bother 
with him not having it like as we say in Sweden Sweden they're short like it's we, we can't get him up to a to a gold at least so he will not have a good upbringing so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go with it Steffi is going to put the baby down and invite people that she likes for her little toddler to wait should she though I just realized do my spreadsheet says that he should have two days left so I'm not gonna have a party for him Wait, we can have a party okay so it's a uh, it's a house party and it is for Duke but we're gonna wait until he auto ages because then my spreadsheet and the game will be aligned <laughs> and I will like that so we're just gonna... Are we going to have a par... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I just said when I started the stream that we should focus on our get getting skills and stuff. So Steffi will actually... Uh, don't they have a chessboard? They don't seem to have a chessboard. Let's let's buy a chessboard. Okay, let's let's actually calm down a little bit, take it easy, and just be here in <laughs> in build the buy mode for a little while and like get get things sorted because we we need some stuff. All right, okay, that I did that wrong. There you go. We are going to have the cheapest possible chessboard out here. Uh, and then I'm not really sure what to do up here. I think like I think I want to have like a corridor like that. And then maybe we can have one room with two beds in it. There. Okay, well that, that didn't work too well, did it? So we can move this over like so. I think... Uh, I think I'm gonna give Melinda a separate room. Because she's a girl. Can I build a wall here? Yes, I was able to. There. So now... <laughs> Building in The Sims 2 is a little bit different from building in The Sims 4. Um, she doesn't need a huge room. Oh, but wait. I said she was going to get a separate room than I. And then I promptly forgot that there, there's going to be a little brother coming. But it's fine. I'm just going to extend this room. Uh, I need a uh, one of those poles. Put that down here. The, the ground is not flat. I'm, I'm worried that will. Oops, no, don't do that. I'm worrying that it will be a problem. Now it won't be a problem. There we go. Okay. See, in The Sims 2, you gotta think about structural integrity <laughs> somewhat. Okay, maybe I just extend it, oops, like a so, and then we do walls, like this, they're gonna have a big square room, and move that back there. Maybe I do just like that. Look, they, now we can have like a bed. I think. <laughs> I don't know if we can. Uh, let's get a bed in here. No, I thought maybe we can get a bed and a desk in here, but we cannot. But we can, however. I'm having move objects on, which is... Uh, 
kind of confusing me a little bit. There you go. This is fine and then we could put like this toy box like a saw. So little What's it, Duke? <laughs> I forgot his name. Sorry. He can he can be over there playing. So now, okay. So all the boys have um, a bed, and we'll just put. Oh no, I I want. I need another one of these. There we go. And I'm not you. I mean. Technically, I can remove this now, but I'm not going to because I needed it there to build this house. So I think like the game is helping me <laughs> to make it look like it would work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let it stay there. There, this room is uh, gonna be a little bit weird, but that's fine. Okay, where's the painting? I don't want to lose it. If you accidentally remove a wall while there is so something on it, you will lose what, whatever was on the wall. So you can like lose paintings and stuff. We don't want that. Okay, maybe like a saw and we have a little window like that. And then wall coverings. And my exit is weird, but it, it's okay. I'm doing my best. And anyone that cannot see that, you know, too bad. Do we know? Let's say Melinda aged up into this purple shirt, so purple is her favorite. But we should go get her uh, new clothes because <laughs> I don't like her clothes. So do we have anything nice and purple? This isn't really purple. <laughs> Maybe this could work. Like it's not really purple, but it's like subtle. And we can have like an accent wall over here with uh, skyscrapers and stuff. I think this is gonna be nice. Like a saw. That works, doesn't it? And... Wait. And she's gonna have a door too, because um, <laughs> we gotta have a door. And she can be the only one that has a desk. Be just because, like, she's the older child, so she gets the best things. And also, I want to give her things. <laughs> there, I'm just gonna put a very nice desk down and a chair. This is gonna be not that chair, that wasn't very nice. Maybe this one. Now, do we have any purples? We doesn't seem like we do. Maybe we just go black. You can never go wrong with black. But then maybe this should have been black too. No, we're gonna keep it white. It matches the window, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Can have another window. I'm using up all their money. Um, maybe that's not good. I'm not sure. Uh, I just think I used. Yes, I just used the auto roof. Oh no, I, I destroyed something. What was that? We don't know. Roof. I'm getting money, which means it 
De delete something. What what could it be? I don't know. Is it something downstairs? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess I guess we will sort of never know. I don't know. We'll see if we miss something, I guess. So there. And now I think I put every all the money in on Dirk's account because uh he's like sort of Darren's heir and so he's like the man <laughs> of the house. I don't I don't know. I usually uh I don't go on gender, I go on firstborns usually. For inheritance. I have I started to think like I, I usually like when Sims get married, I always change to the male's name. But I think if a uh, an heir to a like house or something is marrying and the other one is not an heir maybe i should change to the, the always the heir uh, anyway it doesn't really matter it's just a name what is in a name you know So now Dirk has nothing on this bank account, but it's fine, you know, we don't need that. And Darren wants to study about parenting, and also he wants to get, like, a t crap ton of pets, but I'm not gonna let him be right now, because I can't be bothered with all the pets. Uh, unless it's some th someone's lifetime wish, of course. He wants to... Max out seven skills, so I'm not gonna do it on his account. Become space pirate, maybe Steffi, raise 20 puppies or kittens. I hate that. <laughs> Wait, did we raise this cat? No. Okay, so. Should we get another one? I, I feel that th there's like there's chaos enough as it is. We don't need more. So so I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. I was having the nosebleeds before uh, the stream. My daughter didn't want to go to school. She was scared she would get nosebleeds, and I was like, I don't see any blood, but I can't promise you you won't get them because we have a tendency to get them. But we can get the mail. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> there's two animations happening at once. She's doing this because there's sun outside. Is there though? Like I mean the sky looks kind of overcast. I think I think I put it back here somewhere. Mm. No, I didn't put any clouds out. I forgot to put clouds. Oh no, we cannot have that. We must have clouds. Uh, I usually put them in, in the corners like this because you, you won't put anything else there. Wait. Now, I am... Uh, I, I think I have a problem. I always need to uh, randomize everything. So I'm gonna randomize the clouds. <laughs> and I got five, five. Um, so we go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh my goodness. And one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure that that's just gray, isn't it? 
I don't know. <laughs> Was that a whole lot of nothing? That does not look good. And I went out of out of um, build mode. That's too bad. Wait, maybe I can sell it. Maybe that's cheaper than repainting it. Cause it's only one simoleon. <laughs> you know what? Like she she was acting like it was a very clear day. So I, I'm gonna put it like it is. There. <laughs> now I think that feels better for all of us. I have been contemplating uh, randomizing the the sky like every day to have different weather. I don't know. Also, the sim doesn't have uh, shadows. I think I turned them off. I think there's there's some kind of uh, issue with that. Um, I think. What is this box? We don't know. I don't even find the setting for it. You're probably shouting. It's right there. I don't know. Texture detail, lighting, shadows. Hi. I probably... I probably changed it in some kind of config file or something because of the black box. There is fixes for it, but I just... I wasn't bothered <laughs> enough to do it. So sims have no shadows in my game. If that bothers you, I am sorry. She wants to gain a skill point though. What are their builds like? 514. Okay, that's okay. She doesn't need a skill point, but right, I bought this chess table because I thought that's the lowest she has of the ones that she needs for the job, so maybe that's a smart thing. Otherwise, if she didn't need anything, like if she didn't have a job, I would probably work on charisma because that's her lowest skill. Um, but we're gonna play some chess now. <laughs> and Darren, you can just stop parenting and read about parenting. That's a good idea. There. Everything is under control, I think. That's unusual for this house. Did I paint the outside of the house? Yes, I did. It looks a little bit weird, but I like houses that look weird. I would love to live in a house that looked that weird. <laughs> and there was like one house that I would pause whenever I would go to a certain stable where I was riding one horse one time and that house looked like <laughs> it had been added on to like 20 times like they the people that live there just like we need another room quick buy build uh one here <laughs> and it looks so weird and wonky and i would always drive past really slow so i could watch it because i love that house it looked so interesting i would love to have gone into that I was to see how it felt to be inside. Steph has gained enthusiasm in games. All right. Okay. Well, who's who's crying? No, that's dancing. Is it the the baby? No, it is him. I thought he was dancing, but he was actually crying. But now it's not. There's nothing wrong with him. And Darren thinks he can sense what babies is, are telling him. Well, are you going to go sense it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can potty train 
Duke a little bit because he's not potty trained yet. And he wants to play with Cornelius. So maybe we call him. Wait, what? what is his relation with Cornelius? They're just friends. Cornelius Goth is the daughter of Cassandra, which Darren was married to for many years before she passed away. Sadly. And uh, they managed to have three kids. Really? That's all they had? Okay. I thought that it was four. I think they had a fourth on the way. And she didn't eat enough, so she starved to death. Or she was spooked by a ghost. I actually missed what happened. But she died anyway. <laughs> While Darren was not at home and the headmaster had come to see if Cornelius was suitable to go to private school. Um, needless to say, when he saw the chaos, the dead mother and the social worker coming to fetch all the other kids, he said no. <laughs> so he didn't get in that time. And he got in later. <coughs> so, um, let's invite him after one o'clock. That's in 15 minutes. So we have to wait. Apparently Dirk has fixed us up some food so we can have that first and then we can try again. But um, I'm having like I'm trying to plan ahead you know. Uh, Cornelius is obviously the, the heir of the goth mansion so he should or like obviously but because he's cassandra's first child who was it that would go to work today oh here comes melinda home and she has some homework and she'll probably not put them where i think <laughs> where i had planned for her to put them because i didn't put the thing out um we have a thing we it can buy a thing. <laughs> Sorry, words are hard today. Okay, uh, I think maybe it's in decorations actually. Um, where is it? It's a little thing that you put on the desk and you say, This is desk is mine. Put my homework here, please. Because if you do your homework, then where you put them are reset. It's not a decoration? What is it then? Is it a Michelangelo thing? Why am I not able to find? This is so weird. It can't be in here. I reached that point, you know, when you're looking for something and you start, like, if you're looking for keys and you have looked everywhere, and you start looking in the fridge and stuff because, like, it shouldn't be there. <laughs> but, you know, it's a place that you didn't look at. How can I not find it? Wait, maybe it's in actual, it's in surfaces, it's in desks. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> How would you find a picture frame at, at under desks? So you can claim desk, but then also I'm gonna move your homework up here. There you go. And she wants to have a scholarship, and she also wants to go to college. What scholarship is this? Uh, she needs to, the charisma skill, but you're gonna do your homework first. What are you? Calling? Oh, right, she's calling to see if she actually applies to any scholarship. But I don't think so. Apply for scholarships. Yeah, Darren, you will have to wait just a moment. Because Melinda's trying to check her scholarship status. 
and Dorian. You really just have to put your homework wherever. So what are the ages for these teens here? So Melinda is 14 and Dorian is 12. So they will not be locking in the, the college want just yet. But we can use the college want to direct them to do homework because if you want to go to college, you want to do your homework. <laughs> That's the logic. Look, Melinda, it's your own private room where your stupid brothers won't come in. <laughs> See, now she has her picture here and she will, if, if the mod works, she will put her homework here. And nobody else should do that, I hope. Oh, right. Darren was going to invite Cornelius over. Uh, what what car is this? Is it... What? Someone is going. Someone has work. Who has work? Um, mm -mm -mm. Doug is already at work. Steffi has the day off. Um... It's Melinda. Okay, well, you go to work and Dorian doesn't have a job. Okay. All right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Melinda works for, uh, what's him? What should I call it? Uh, Malcolm Landgrab. Uh, we can invite household. We can get Let's let's invite them all because that that will not create too much chaos. <clears throat> well, he's definitely coming, but he's not sure about the rest of his household. And we also have Brittany Newson here that is no longer pregnant, so she's out and about, uh, leaving her little baby Bruno at home. I think it was Bruno. Pretty sure. So. Here comes Cornelius and Alexander, and Darren was to play with Cornelius, so let's try and do that. Play. What do you want to play? Play catch? I mean, sure, why not? Uh, but Cornelius is the one to smuzzle out here. Okay, alright. He started a party, apparently. Who's this? Jace Makarevich. I do not have you in my spreadsheet, Jace. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I don't. I do. Okay, well, the spreadsheet says he's 21 years old. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure, is he a young adult? This is not a teleporter bush. bush. Why is this not a teleporter bush? That's weird. Um, is it just a regular bush? What? <laughs> Who puts a regular bush out? Uh, this is a sim blender. Do I need a sim blender? I don't think I do. Let's remove that. And let's have... It's under... There. Here's a little... Uh, it's going to be a bush. Pretty soon. Look at this. Change model. There you go. It's a bush. <laughs> now we can make selectable. Who was it? Jace. And I can check if he is an adult. He is an adult. All right. I was just checking, you know. Uh, there. You gotta check those things. It's very important. <laughs> gotta have... Co Complete control of the entire neighborhood and everyone in it. Now we want to tell an inside joke. Okay. Did we greet this person? Yes. Okay. Entertain inside joke. We should really concentrate on Steffi because she's not in the platinum. Or 
you know, the platinum ones, we shouldn't chase these. We should just look at um, fulfilling their lifetime want because that's the rules that I decided at some point. So he should go <laughs> and join, join Troy over here. Now, okay, so Cornelius, he is actually by, I think, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm uh, certain because I have it in my spreadsheet. Uh, so, and I don't have a whole lot of sims that are like either gay or bi. So he might have to be with, oh, where do you go? He will have, he might have to, to be with a, a guy in the end because otherwise I won't be able to match them all up. But uh, this is the Sims, so I might like inseminate, inseminate someone with a Sim Blender. So, so uh, he will still be able to get a genetic heir because I want to keep the bloodline going, but he, you know, maybe yeah I kind of want want to like see how what his offspring would look like but he might also adopt you know let's see here comes little Willow Trimble maybe Dean says hello to him her talk chat uh, he is off showing off his homework why do you put that in Melinda's room I don't approve <laughs> you could put that over here I think it's it's way better like so also like in the sims 2 when you go into their inventory you get into sort of mock bit by mode so I think that's better than sims 4 where you don't because it's way easier to rotate objects. That's the whole, the whole idea. That's the whole reason. I think that's better. Oh, hello, Willow. Oh, but he does. He wants to be friends with Seth and friends with Diana. Uh, and also coral. So I'm gonna focus on the leftmost because it's the first one, <laughs> you know. But he, oh, he's in platinum, but he's child, so he doesn't have a um, lifetime want. So he can call coral. <sighs> when is the baby growing up? Incidentally, I think Omar has two days left. All right. Well, I, I'm not sure about all of this. <laughs> yeah, we, we'll see what happens when I... At 6 o'clock, it's in two hours, uh, little Duke will grow up and uh, we will see how off sync he is with my spreadsheet. Uh, I might fi fix it in CMP, but I don't know how he got unsynced, so maybe I should just... Uh, go with the game. I'm not sure. Okay. She still wants to gain a skill point. Didn't you gain a skill point? Maybe you try some charisma. Practice speech. I don't know. What about Dorian? He is in platinum. He wants to have sim 20 simultaneous best friends. But did you already do your homework? Because I don't believe you if you say you did. Did you actually? I think you did. Because I can't find them. So let's assume he did. And let's see who he should become best friends with. So he is pretty good friends with all of these people. Not his, <laughs> not his brothers. Uh, but Professor Peter Buckingham, all right, when did you meet him? That's weird, but okay. Oh no, <laughs> I always get so confused when these come up. All right, so Dirk, 
uh, around the turn of the century, Gregory Landgrab. Gregory? Who's Gregory? He's not in the family tree, I can tell you that. I think. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, a humble school teacher suddenly came into a great deal of money. Gregory. I have a Jeffrey in Sims 4. All right. And became one of the wealthiest landowners around. This was never explained, though many theories suggest foul plays, and the Ministry of Adventure has asked task Dirk with solving the case once and for all. After a great deal of research, Dirk believes one of two people will have the answers to he, he needs. Uh, Spencer Oswald, the land grabs accountant, or the local fortune teller, the gypsy. Who should Dirk bring in for questioning? Well, uh, I mean, logically, it would be the, the accountant, but this is the Sims, so the gypsy might know, but also she might just talk nonsense. So I think I'm going to I'm going to go with Spencer Oswald. Dirk believes it's best to head straight for the source and you can't dig any deeper than an accountant. Spencer agrees to meet with him at his office for lunch. The Langrebs are honest now. Though it wasn't always so, explains to Spencer. He props his feet up on his desk and begin the tale of love, intrigue and illegal land dealings. Spencer reveals all, confident the statute of limitations is long expired on the issue. Dirk's thank Dirk thanks him for his time and drafts his report to the Ministry of Adventure who are delighted with his findings. Dirk receives a logic skill point. All that just for a logic skill point? I want money. We need them. <laughs> But okay, well, I'll I'll settle. Um, he didn't need it for a promotion though, so it was pretty meh. But maybe I will get a promotion now. He also wants Dorian to have a scholarship, so Dorian can call and see if he if he um. I don't think he will get one. Oh, maybe because he has an A in school. Uh, what were we doing? We were calling Professor Buckingham. Um, invite him over, I guess. Oh, you should take a bath. Who's going to say hi to the professor when he comes over? We don't know. <laughs> Dean can do that. I was like, where's Melinda? She went to work. Why do you put the baby on the floor? I have a perfectly... Uh, well, actually, we don't have a perfectly good bed for him because it's busy. But, you know, you could put him here. <laughs> I bought that one for you. Also, you should change his diaper. What are you doing, Steffi? Oh my goodness. Get yourself together. There you go. Hello, Professor... What is his name? Professor Peter Buckingham. Hello. Yeah, uh, Dorian is busy right now. If they had room, I would try and adopt someone from the orphanage because Darren has kids there <laughs> but uh, they are eight in the household so we can do that right now <gasps> Steffi what is going on with you why are, why are you just holding Omar what is going what what are you trying to accomplish should I cancel this out? I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. Did you ever call Carl? Because I can't remember you doing that. Let's call Carl. I mean, uh, we're not having a party, but we're sure having a lot of people over. 
<laughs> Invite household. Sure, why not? Because then we can get Betty over as well. And Bob. Uh, let's just invite the kids. Oh, Bob is not a kid anymore. He's a teen, but that's fine. Angela and Corey can stay home. <laughs> I have no... Uh, like, why? Wait, so... Where are you? Okay. There you go. It turned six o'clock. Everything happening. All right. So Darren is now 63. Dirk is 37. Steffi is 35. Melinda is 15. And in one year, like tomorrow, <laughs> she will be allowed to lock in the uh, go to college want if she has it. Dorian is now 13. And Dean is nine. And Duke is five. And Omar is one. So uh, we could we could make Omar a toddler too. So now is a good time to have a birthday party, don't you think? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to invite many people now because there's so many people already here. But that's okay. Hey, uh, greet everyone. We wanted to be friends with Coral, so it's very important that you uh, greet them so that they don't go away. Okay, Steven Tinker. All right. Well, um, hmm. Are we inviting Dustin now? I mean, sure, she is, she's friends with him. The headmaster? That's risky. Like, what if he thinks, like, this is too chaotic? I'm gonna take your kids out of... We're not inviting him. <laughs> I think. Uh, Melissa is in prison, so she can't come. Orlando can come. There you go. Oh, I, I missed this. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh, he wants to learn homework. Little Duke Dreamer is now a child. He did not have a good uh, childhood or toddlerhood. You know, it wasn't good. But he'll, he'll survive. He will just have one bad memory. He'll make several other good memories. And he has the biggest eyes that I have seen so far in my game. I don't understand. But there he is. I can update my little family tree. Duke Dreamer, where are you? There you are. Ah, got stuck. There we are. Duke Dreamer looks like this, but we will soon change him. No, you need to change, choose a file first. There, upload. I did it again. I, I I think like when I take the picture, I think there's plenty of light, but when once I upload them, they look dark. I don't know. It's fine, isn't it? You can see his little face features, but look at Melinda. She's like this picture. Uh, she should have gone outside to take the picture. Anyway, we can have Steffi. Why didn't you? Oh, <laughs> Duke has grown into a child. As a toddler, Duke achieved the aspiration level of rotten rugrat. That's terrible. To Duke has hit rock bottom, uh, but we can, oh my goodness, uh, clean this up and then we'll get a cake, because you're hungry. Yeah, I think now is the time where like uh, <laughs> chaos will ensue. Hey Dean, is Melinda available to talk? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. She'll probably be home soon. I don't 
no she'll be home at 8 p.m that's in one and a half hour do you want to wait <laughs> in 90 minutes you sit in the on the phone waiting you know you can do that it's fine no 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 so cake is this the best place for a cake yeah i think it's the best place for this cake i wait maybe i put a little nice table out here it's nice weather so we'll put one of these um, no what color should we do a red one why not let's put a red little table out there and put this cake on it and now also please note that this is a side table and you can put the cake on it sims 4 take notes <laughs> so now steffi can bring omar to the cake but I, I would like the party to, to kind of... I, I want the, the guests to come first. But uh, they are here, are they? No, I don't... No? Uh, Dean, say hello to Sheila. Sheila will be go, going off to college real soon. He wants to be friends with Jalmar and he wants to gain a skill point. Like, seeing as is it awesome, Autumn, I said we would focus on the skill point once, so let's do that then. And um, and he, he can uh, study cooking, even though it's party going on. I, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> okay, people seem to be arriving. Uh, bring Omar to cake. Like, if they're not here, snooze you lose. <laughs> it's fine. I want to see what Omar looks like, because, you know... So far we only know, like we know his skin tone and his eye color and his hair color. That's all we know about him. And he's has he has black hair and he is tan, I think. And he has closed eyes. <laughs> there you go, blue eyes. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, not like that. Ooh. There you go. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> okay. Let's bring him to the cake outside. It's gonna be a nice. First thing about this is if we get a. Uh, I didn't turn that off, did I? Special event camera is enabled. So, and I don't. I. I think I did something weird with the ACR adjuster. Hang on. I'm just gonna go check it. Wherever it is. Here it is. Um, it was something... I don't know. I don't know where I put that. Where What it is. Global switches. It's not here. Cinematics. I put it to never. Uh, I'm gonna do it to normal. Uh, I'm not sure. It didn't seem to work though. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. So let's let's um, you know just put it normal. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm sorry that the alert didn't play. I apparently have uh, turned them off. There they are. <laughs> well, thank you for the follow anyway. Uh, Deco GR23. Okay, if I just call you Deco. We are having... Oh no, the lights went out. Now it's dark. Well... 
gotta fix that, don't we? If I <laughs> if I put this here, everyone has this weird. Oh my goodness. What if I go in here and put one of these? Is this too weird? I don't know. This is definitely weird. I think this is the least weird I can do right now. Let's let's just put that so that we have some light. Uh, I could have put a wall light. Well, oh well. There we go. Oh, look how nice when everyone can go gather and there's no obstructions and everyone can, you know. <laughs> and Dorian is inside reading about cooking. It's fine. It's fine. He's he's gonna miss it. He he doesn't care. <laughs> Cutscene. Oh no, he's wearing that strange satch thing. Well, that's fine. Let's have a look at him. He looks exactly like uh, like little Duke, I think. It's very similar. Where is Duke? There's Duke. They could be twins. I think he's a bit lighter in the skin. I don't know. Maybe the nose is different. I don't know. <laughs> I also think that we should change his clothes because the, now he, she wants a baby again. Nope, she can't have any <laughs> because the house is full. Now, should she go on her own with ACR and uh, plan every day for Omar and play plan PJ for Omar? Should she go on her own with Dirk and like have the naughties and get pregnant because I do have a mod so it is technically possible then that's fine but I will not direct her to and I will not lock that in for her because it's very unlikely that it would happen so we're not doing it and all I mean we have enough children in the game as it is I'm, I, I don't know how to handle all of this. Oh, are you carrying Omar around? Then you can well, answer the phone, apparently. Oh, I, I guess Nestor uh, didn't want to wait anymore. Okay, Derek has been promoted. All right. Hey, Darren, is Dorian available to talk? Uh, yes. So, uh, Lisa Freckles is a, um, I do believe she is a uh, romance sim, so she like keeps calling everyone and coming over to everyone, she's really busy. But that, that's romance sims for you. Okay, so what, <laughs> what clothes are we gonna put him on him? He could wear a little tuxedo. That's so cute. Um, none of these are like normal toddler indoor clothes. Like we have all these costumes. <laughs> They're cute, but it's a bit weird. I'm gonna put him in this, I think. It is autumn. He can he can have a little scarf. It's fine. Aww. And then, is this the PJs? Yes. Are we just putting him in the normal clothes? I think we are. Because all my toddlers end up getting uh, the, the bear costumes and everything. So, did I direct Darren to do that too? No, I did not. But he wants to teach the little kid stuff. He wants to te teach him to talk. That's easier than to potty train him, so I'm gonna lock that in. <laughs> so he can, yeah, like, uh, do that, I guess. And Steffi, you could stop that. And just, you know, go be with the, all the guests, because it's supposed to be a party. Um talk to uh, Dustin, 
for example. Don't flirt with him. Uh, talk. But she did meet him. Like, he just moved in over yonder. Where is it? I think I put... No? I'm lost. <laughs> there! He lives over here. <clears throat> in these uh, apartments type house thing. And he had a party and Steffi was there and she thought he was very agreeable. Um, but he just got married to Meadow there. So we're not, you know, pursuing anything. She is also a family sim. She has no reason to be unfaithful, but she can have friends. That's fine. Uh, she she w also wasn't able to talk to anybody. <laughs> I think it's a bit crowded in here. Is someone stuck or something? No? Everyone is just, uh, you're in my way. <laughs> I think that's what these mean. They, it means either they don't like that person or they're in their way. So, that's probably it. How are you doing? Oh, you need to go to the toilet. Maybe... I keep saying like we should have a, diff a separate toilet. Like we should have two of them. We do already have that. So um, that should be fine already. And Dirk, stop just standing here. Like, go do something. He wants to teach Omar to, to walk. I'm gonna lock that in. I think that will be easier than getting a scholarship. Those are really hard to come by. But it's fine because I have a system in place where you get a student loan. So you just uh, repay that later. She wants to. See, everyone wants to teach this poor child things. Is he too tired? Oh my goodness, he is very tired. Put him in the crib. Oh my goodness. Which one did I cancel out? <laughs> we we can't know. Yeah, wait for your mother. She will come and put you in the crib if she can get there. Darren cannot get to the toilet, unfortunately. But he can try. No. Are you unable to get up from the chair? I don't know. There you go. Yeah, the layout wasn't good for all these people to be here. But what are you gonna do? Well, we have a little bit of money. We could extend the house. I don't know if they're gonna be able. Wait, we should pay the bills first uh, before we do anything. Okay, so Melinda is out here talking to Joe. Okay. What? Well, he's a townie, Melinda. I don't want you. I don't want you to marry in like a townie. You can be friends with him. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she attracted to? She's attracted to Nesta Caliente. And I think that I, I'm i gonna try and get them married so that we can decrease the, the amount of like heirs. Because <laughs> Melinda is the heir of uh, Dirk. So if they. If I marry two heirs, then they will have a lot of monies in the end. But you know, it's not much here to, to inherit, but there is the house, you know, the parents will die at some point. <laughs> uh, that's way into the, the future though, we don't need to think about that right now. All right, going to bed, I see. Okay, going to bed, I see. Going to relax, I see. Oh, with Steffi, I see. Okay, what are you going to do? 
Well, I like. I always want more babies, but I have to try and restrain myself. But I'm not gonna stop them if the game like gives me it. <laughs> uh, we'll see if they just do a casual woohoo or a casual try for baby. Uh, because they might. Uh, the the party was good, so now it will be a little bit quieter when everyone goes home. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Betty cannot believe how late is it is. She is going home. Duke, you are dirty. Uh, go and have a bubble bath, and then um, and then I want you to know. Wait, did Will Willow sleep here? You cannot sleep here. That's weird. I want him to know his, his bed. Uh, I can fix that later. Because he also wants to... Learn how to do homework. But, oh, he, he, he just aged up, so he doesn't have homework yet. Okay. So we'll just have him... And then go to bed. If we're able to sleep. Melinda, I th think she made it. No, she didn't do her homework because she had to go to, to her job. Uh, she won't do them now because it's not fun. Can't you see I'm in a bad mood? What is Emmy Pratt doing here? What are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you right running through our house? <laughs> That's a lot of empty bottles to bring the mood out. Oh. Uh, yes. Nobody is apparently cleaning. Was she complaining about the uh, state of the room? Because when they do, I sometimes direct them to clean. Otherwise, I just wait for them to clean on their own. Um, she likes music and dance, so I'm gonna have her turn this on. Go there, turn it on. And dance. Nika Badu. And I still haven't gotten her any clothes. I think it's kind of late to do that now. Well, she's in a very bad mood. Maybe I call a taxi for her. Sneak out? No, we call a taxi. We we go to the. We're gonna go to the shack over there. There, we need a taxi. We can't walk all the way over there. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Can't, can't walk there. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Okay, she, we are going to work there. I think that's better. Um, Walked a lot. There you go. Don't call it a taxi. <laughs> uh, don't bring anyone. Why is she running run around here? Like, who is she? Why is she here? Ask to leave. Not supposed to be here. <clears throat> also, didn't I say to walk on a lot? I'm confused. Oh, I already asked for a taxi, so okay. Okay then. Do they even clean on their own? Yes, they do. I think unless they have a high tidiness, uh, or whatever it's called, this on the scale. Uh, yes, uh, you are correct. Uh, they do t clean on their own if they're neat. But uh, most of the people in this household, I, I do believe you are correct. They are not neat. Um, see, well, well, Melinda could at some point clean something. But I think they need to be fairly neat uh, before they actually start doing something. Oh, uh, little Omar here is kind of sloppy. <laughs> so, and Darren, he will not clean. But the other people, like, they, they could, they, they do sometimes, but most of the time it's uh, like, it's so crazy all, all the time. So, they, they don't. And I, um, 
I like that <laughs> I'm the one I'm one of the ones that bought the Buster Dust kit to Sims 4 because I like when stuff piles up and the house looks messy. <laughs> so I don't direct them. I think it's like you know, that's why you get a maid. I don't think they have a maid. But they could now. If anyone gets a want to get a maid, I'm gonna get them a maid. <laughs> because they need it. They actually need a butler at this point. I don't know. <clears throat> but we are going... Oh, did you see how this uh, loading screen is sort of a... Um, progress bar you you know when it's about to to load because it goes all the way there and then go, it goes back so uh if sims 4 had that i think the loading screens would be more sufferable but i'm going to direct melinda to buy some everyday clothes because now there's money to do it and isn't there a stereo somewhere here? I don't know. Oh, the lag. <laughs> um, it, it's gonna pop up in a second. I hope. There you go. And we are looking for something purple. Is this too revealing? Because I, I feel like maybe the whole thing is is not these are totally wrong. I'm just <laughs> I don't know where I got these. There's some kind of conversion from something. This is Did I do this? I might have done this. I might have tried to do some Pocahontas thing. Like back when the movie came out <laughs> or something. We also have this. <laughs> I tried streaming this game last night and it gave me fits with parents not wanting to take care of their kids. Yeah, that can sometimes happen. Um, like if the kid asks them for a bottle and they say no because they're not good parents or like they don't like the kid enough it can happen oh i like this but is it too fancy it's purple you can also go for something like this Ooh, i don't like it clothes are also hard What, oh, this. It's not purple, but it's. I like it. Let's let's get that. Let's put it on that. And plan outfits every day. I thought there was a stereo around here somewhere. It's kind of ridiculous when you have to spam max motives because of that. You know, the only thing you need to keep track of is the grades and the hunger motive. I, everything else you can just ignore. <laughs> so make sure you feed the kids and you just get the, the high chair for them and you just put them in there and give them food. And then you just ignore them for the rest. You could. <laughs> this is the, the the evil stuff for toddlers. You can <laughs> you can put those uh, pet beds down, and they will they will uh, go on them and sleep on them by themselves. Like I'm not saying that's a good idea in real real life, but it it certainly works in the game. There, isn't that much better? Oh my god, she has sits too. Do we have a mirror here? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, so, wait, can I not apply acne cream on a community lot? Seems I can't. All right, well, 
Should we put some makeup on then? I usually do that. So, uh, change appearance. She needs to fix herself up. And then she wants to have some fun. Maybe we can play that game there. Do we have eyelashes on her? I think we just put some small eyelashes. This looks better, and then which one is it? It's one of those. Wait, don't we have? Okay, so if we put this on, um, it doesn't. It doesn't completely cover the sets, but it looks better. <laughs> but it turned her all pale. I don't like that. Hmm. But maybe that's what she did because she had sets. I don't know. She just trying to look nice. Now she looks like ev every other sim that I have because I put the same things on them. Oh well, I'm sorry. It's just what happens. Anyway, I do think I saw Nestor over here. Hello. So we can uh, go hug him. And then maybe he wants to play a game with us. Oh, hello, Skip. I think Melinda is only involved with one person. Yes. No other person. Because she is a fortune sim, so... Like, I don't even remember how this happened. <laughs> never understood makeup. I usually think that sims look good enough, so I never bother with it. Yeah, she has having sits. <laughs> what happened now? I checked. Well, Nestor. What happened? Why are you running away? Wait, is he... Oh, someone else is having the naughties, and he was involved with someone else. All right, well, it's not easy to keep track of all this. So he has been with, well, we'll see who comes out of here. <laughs> it's Skip and Broke. Right, because Broke, uh, Skip, Broke, and Brooke um, Landry. Right, because that's a whole thing in my game. So, so Brooke is with both Skip and Nestor. And Nestor is with both Brooke and Melinda, obviously. And also Gina. <laughs> Gina was with Skip. So Gina got all upset with Brooke, but then also Gina was with Davis Dreamer. So they're being teens. <laughs> so there's a whole, you know, that, that kind of shame thing that tends to happen. It happened to me when I was a teenager too. It, like the teenage years are crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Melinda's just over there. I, I want to have fun. I'm going to go play. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Nestor is now uh, lecturing Brooke on <laughs> how to be um, faithful while he's here. Like, he just hugged like Melinda. So... The nerves of some people, you know? It got messy fast here. <laughs> Alright, but Melinda seems oblivious to the whole thing. She is, you know, uh, where did Nestor go? He, he just ran off. Are these people gonna do anything more? Now, Brooke had a fight with Gina. So they both got, like, in the... They, they both got records, 
And then also Gina got pregnant with Davis. So the government said, you're going to go and be like, she was in the orphanage and pregnant. So they were like, no, 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 this will not do. Who's going to take care of this baby? And you're out of control. So they put her on a home <laughs> to talk to some sense to, to her. So that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, rid my neighborhood of furiousness, but it's not going well. All right, well, so she did that. Um, and Nestor just, okay, we get that. <laughs> okay, well, Nestor, can you like, would you like to be with me here? Um, come on. Go ignore these two. Come come play some pinball with me instead. I want to have fun. Come on. Oh, also Marsha is here. Marsha is not involved with anyone, I think. How did Melinda not notice all of that nonsense? <laughs> I think that she, she should have noticed. Well, we don't know. Melinda, it seems, doesn't even know Broken and Skip. <laughs> Pinball, a game famous for being perfect for playing together. Um, yeah, you can have two players. <laughs> you know, remember to save your game. Uh, yeah, cash. I'm on a community lot. Not, uh, not allowed. So you, you see, like you can tell the machine that you are two players, and it will actually tell you when, when to play what ball. <laughs> So, so yeah, you can do that. <clears throat> and I don't know that just because I'm old. I know that because we had a pinball machine at my last uh, workplace for a while. Then it was just the same people playing, so they removed it. They were like hogging it. Or, you know, it was time limited thing okay so now her fun need is full so i think i wanted to say hi to these people so that she knows them ah uh, maybe she doesn't i don't know she, she go. i mean that's not really together it's just taking turns uh sure <laughs> you know? but it's it's still you stand there it, it's the thing that they just did on the screen <laughs> You can still talk while you play, you know? And then you can get mad at the other person for talking and breaking your concentration. That's fun! <laughs> so let's go home. We have new clothes and we have seen some drama. And oh my goodness, it's five in the morning. Uh, okay. For a minute there, I thought they were going to do the notice on the bench. And here's uh, the witch. Well, that that's our cue to go home. <laughs> we can't be here when there's witches. There we go. Back to the calm home. I think most people went to bed at five o'clock, so... It's not gonna be five o'clock when we get back to the lot. We're just gonna. Melinda is going to come home in three hours. But Darren went to bed, and these two went to bed. I missed what they did. Did they do the casual woohoo, or did they? We don't know. Uh, someone needs to take care of this baby, though. 
thank you for the follow. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for the follow, Josh. Uh, welcome here. I'm gonna have Darren uh, change Omar's diaper. That's gonna be the way. Let's see, what time have we got in real life? <laughs> uh, it's in lunch. Uh, do you by any chance know how does the time work? It just feels like whenever I come back from a community lot, it, it is earlier than I departed from it. Yeah, I can feel like that. So, right. I have actually a mod installed. That That's why this happened. It, this is not a vanilla game. This is the community time mod. Uh, so it just makes so that when you have been on a community lot and you get back to the lot, that person that was there doesn't return back immediately. But in the vanilla game, uh, we would just like, you save the lot when you leave the lot and when you get back to the home lot, it's the same, the exact same time as when you left, which makes it seem like you like no time has passed at all um and you compare that with the sleep on community lot mod because normally you can't sleep there so you can have have your sim live like a whole life without time passing you can also turn aging off if that's what you want so <laughs> so yeah that that can be a bit confusing and that's why i have this mod because i i just feel it makes more sense uh, you're welcome. And also that's why I'm reluctant to go on vacation because the, time, the community time mod does not work with vacations. <laughs> we need to feed a cat though. Oh, he is wide awake so we can like teach him to talk, I guess. I don't know if I linked this mod because I really recommend it because I, I really like it. Uh, what are you doing? Browser. I have this page here. It's called wani.se and I have mods and sheets on here. And it's not on here. But there's a link to Pleasant Sims, <laughs> so you can go there. <laughs> and I do believe she has a, a link to it um, somewhere. Community time project enables the passing of time uh, to be spent on the home lot. When the sim leaves the community lot at 5 p.m., it will be 5 p.m. when they get back home, but you'll still be able to play it the family left behind in the meantime. So this is this is the one that I have. So should you want it. And sometimes I was under the impression that it didn't work if you walked to a lot, but it did work when you take a taxi. Um, now Melinda took a taxi, so I don't know. It might be like that. So if you walk on a lot, it works like normally. But I think lately it has. I have. I haven't noticed that it doesn't work. So not sure. Weren't you gonna teach him to to talk? What are you doing? Sims. See, he, he, he started to clean, but I, I I interrupted him, so let, let's direct him to clean that up after. <laughs> there we go. I do believe everyone is asleep. Oh. Except these two. Now, what I was going to say about time <laughs> in real life, 
uh, it's gonna be launched soon. So I think I'm just gonna... Um, I was going to say I was going to play until um, six o'clock, but that's kind of now, isn't it? So... I'm gonna direct Melinda to have a little toilet and then go to bed and I'm gonna end the stream actually because I am uh, hungry. <laughs> so that's that's what's going on uh, and I have forgotten the address to Twitch so we can find someone to raid because someone might be playing The Sims 2 if we're lucky. Um, I think so. Come on. So, but this was the one, this was the person that I wasn't able to raid last time, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try, but if they don't want me to raid, then we can't raid them. Nope, we're not uh, able to raid the only other people person that is playing The Sims 2. So uh, you will have to go find them yourself or, you know, we can see if someone is playing The Sims 4 instead. See how that goes. None of the ones that I'm following is playing any sim-like game. But we have, what do we have here? We have one 100 baby challenge stream going on here, here. so we can read them. And we're allowed. <laughs> Fantastic. So until uh, next time have a super duper time stay safe take care and don't forget to eat <laughs> seriously and you know bye <laughs>